Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be ranking all of my Jeffree Star palettes and my Kylie Cosmetics palettes. Both of these brands were like really highly recommended or requested from you guys, and I'm actually getting to the point where I'm running out of brands with like a lot of palettes in my collection. The last one was Juvia's Place, and I think that's the last like big amount of palettes from one brand that I own because for these two brands I only own four palettes from each and I kind of I didn't think that was enough for like a full video on its own so I may do one or two more of these type of videos where I rank these palettes in just like kind of one video and then I'm probably gonna go and rank the rest of my like I don't know more standard palettes like what you see at Sephora and Ulta and then the rest of like my indie palettes. I really loved doing this series and I love that you guys love it as well so we're gonna go ahead and talk about my Kylie palettes and my Jeffree Star palettes. Like I said uh, each of these I only have four palettes in each but I've already pre-ranked them and we're just going to talk about each one and what I think about them. Let's go ahead and start with the Kylie palettes. So the number four Kylie palette that I own it's the Halloween palette. I believe this was Halloween of 2018 29 May it was a Halloween palette it was limited edition and I picked it up because it just it was different like it was a lot different than anything I was seeing like at the time and I was just really appreciative that a brand actually did a Halloween collection you don't see too many Halloween collections come out as it is and it is something different to see a Halloween collection come out that's an actual just like kind of regular palette and not like costume focused you know this isn't something you would wear to, like I want to be a lion right this is an actual like palette that being said I have not reached for this <laughs> I think I don't even know if I did a video with this I think I did I have to look back on my channel to see if I did one but I haven't reached for it yeah, so I want to do I want to do better. One of my goals for 2020 is to get better at rotating palettes in my collection because I get in a really bad rut of focusing on one pan that palette and then buying more palettes throughout the year. So I'm trying to focus more. And I think that if I were to rotate this in, I could get some really nice looks out of this. So palette number three is from the Weather Collection. And I actually, back in the day, purchased this whole collection from Kylie Cosmetics and I did a whole review video. It was, it was like hit or miss. I'll throw that video up in the cards if you missed it. And this is the Tiny Palette. This is, I believe this is the Calm Before the Storm palette. The other palette I already decluttered from this collection, but this one is such a pretty pastel palette. And for me, ah, oh, this just screams spring. Like I want to bring this out. I mean, I'm already talking about spring. We haven't even gotten our big winter storm yet. We get one every year, so, so hmm. It's January and I'm thinking about spring. But this is a beautiful spring palette. I love the pastels and I love the way it's arranged. It reminds me of a nice like Lorac palette where you've got all the mattes on one side and then you have those same colors and shimmers on the other side. I think this is adorable. Like I need to bring this out and use it more because it's so cute and I love the quality of this one. It's so good. Pretty sure this isn't available anymore. The downside to Kylie Cosmetics is I think they do a decent amount of limited edition stuff that actually turns out to be limited edition. That could be a plus or a minus depending on how you look at it, but I really like this palette. And I think it's the only thing from the Weather Collection other than the highlighter palette that I still like have and reach for and think about regularly. <laughs> Alrighty, the last two palettes, so palettes number one and number two, are part of the permanent collection from Kylie Cosmetics, and these are, I actually think, really worth it, and I really like, and I keep coming back to use. So these are probably my two biggest recommendations, other than the concealer. I love the Kylie concealer. Honestly, I think that's actually really worth it. So those are my big recommendations from Kylie Cosmetics. So my number two palette is the Blue honey palette i don't know what it was about this palette that just like drew me in it's like a very basic palette when you look at it and you break it down and you swatch it but i, I love the way it's arranged i love the the colors i love the quality i love how inspired i am by by this i think one of my very first actual tutorials was with this palette i love specifically this shade right up here in the top middle it reminds me if you have the um the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This reminds me of the shade Luscious. They're not exactly the same, but it does really remind me of that. And I, I just love this. 
I really like it. I like that there are matte shades that could work as transitions for different skin tones in here. You've got a really light shade, you've got it like a medium kind of warm shade, and you've got like a more deeper warm brown shade, and it doesn't throw off the palette. Like I think there are some palettes where they have neutrals in here like this, and it makes you feel like, why are those neutrals there? But like this is such a good like cohesive palette. This is such a great balance between neutrals and colors. This isn't like a palette with a pop of yellow or a palette with a pop of teal. This it's just it's, it's, uh, it's a cohesive palette and I really like this palette. I really recommend it if you haven't already tried it out. Um, if you do buy anything Kylie Cosmetics, I recommend getting it at Ulta. I'm pretty sure these are available at Ulta. I know for sure this palette is. I don't know about the next one, but Ulta has a great reward system. You can get points, you can get cash back. It's just oh, mwah. Now, my favorite Kylie Cosmetics palette. This will come as no surprise to those of you that saw my Battle of the Peach palettes, but it's the Peach Extended Palette. If you missed that Battle of the Peach palettes video, I will throw it up in the cards because I got into a lot of detail about this palette. But I compared this to other peach palettes, specifically the ColourPop peach palette, and this is just exactly what I was looking for in a nice peach palette. It's actually peach, because I was, this is kind of what I was expecting from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which I'm not saying that's a bad palette. I love that palette, but it's not really peach, you know? It's got like two peach shades in here. This is majority peach. I love what is matte, what is shimmer in here. I love the variety. I just, ah. I got this on sale, so I think this retails normally for like $42, which is kind of bananas. I got it on sale for around $25, and I do think this is worth the $25. It's so good. If you want to see looks of this, the swatches and everything, check out that video, the Battle of the Peach palettes, because I go into a lot of detail on exactly why I love this palette. All right, so that is all of my Kylie Cosmetics palettes. I've owned some other Kylie Cosmetics palettes that I've decluttered in the past, but these are the only ones that have lasted this long in my collection and I don't see myself decluttering these anytime soon. That can't be said of this next category so let's jump in to ranking my four Jeffree Star palettes. Coming in dead last at number four, the Thirsty palette. Now uh, I remember when this came out it was sneak peeked and people saw like the bright yellow and the bright blue and people were really excited and then the whole palette came out and we were just like huh? Yeah. I was, everyone was confused by this. It's weird. The middle row doesn't match the rest of the palette. The quality is pretty decent. I actually liked the shimmers, but none of this makes sense. And I never reached, I don't think I've reached for it once since the last video I talked about it in. Literally. And that was over a year ago. It's, it's really not, I don't recommend it. It's not really anything special. And this I'm seriously considering decluttering. So this is basically on the chopping block for my next declutter. Coming in at number three, this next palette that is in a ColourPop palette, but it's not from ColourPop. I depotted my Alien palette. I was intrigued by the colors and how different it was, but I hated the packaging of the Alien palette. It was bulky, it was annoying, and it's it bleh. So I had a video <laughs> where I depotted this and it was kind of a hot mess express. <laughs> So if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards, but this is basically what is left of my Alien palette. And looking at it, I'm kind of inspired. I think it's interesting. I think it's unique, but I don't reach for it, which is stupid because the whole reason I depotted it was because I thought it would help me reach for this more because I hated the packaging, but I'm not. I need to bring this back in because I know these shimmers. I know I love these shimmers and I worked with them and they work really great. And I love these greens over here. So this is another casualty of me not being able to rotate my palettes well enough. So I'm definitely going to work and try to bring this in and just rotate it better. Also, I'll do a little zoom in so you can see just exactly what was lost. Everything that's not in the palette right now broke horribly when I tried to depot it. As you can see, I actually broke this shade right there as well. And yeah, that's, that, that's, that's what's left. <laughs> so these next two palettes are big in packaging but these are actually ones that i really liked i really got and one of these is actually the last palette i bought from jeffree star before i stopped supporting the brand and that's the blue blood palette honestly shit, i love this packaging it's bulky and kind of annoying 
but I love like the coffin shape. I love this accent up here at the front. I love the blue and the white. Shit, it's gorgeous. Now these shades, I really love this top. I mean, how do you even show this? It's so bulky. I really love this top row right here. I really don't know how much of like the deep shimmers. Like I don't know why these two are shimmers. Eh, I don't know. So I feel like I can use like this row and then like these two columns of the palette and this section of the palette isn't as usable S for me and with my skill set and with my preferences. Not saying that not anyone can use those, but that's from my point of view. So I mean, I love this shade right here. I've already dug into it quite a bit and I love the light. I like that the lightest shade in here is a shimmer because it is a little bit different. Normally when you see a white shade in a palette, it tends to be a matte white. I like that this one's a shimmer. And I just, I love the whole, like, if you look back and look at it on the whole, I love the aesthetic of this. But when I zoom in and try to look at, like, looks and what I really want to do with it, I'm a bit stumped. Because, to me, it's a lot more difficult to do a blue everyday look. Like, something I could wear to work. Or, I mean, if I'm not going to work, I could definitely do something. No one cares what I wear outside of work. But, I don't know. I actually almost considered panning this instead of the next palette, but I know there was no way I could have used blue shadows enough, like on a day-to-day -day basis, in order to actually use this up. That being said, I do want to make 2020 the year of using up my problematic shit, along with actually shopping my stash a lot better, so I'm gonna try to rotate this in a bit more and just get more use out of it, see if I hit any pan. I'm not gonna intentionally try to, but I do want to spend this year either decluttering or using up the Jeffree Star stuff I have. So to the surprise of no one, the number one palette I have from Jeffree Star is my 2020 Pan That Palette, the Blood Sugar Palette. Again, I love this packaging. I think it's so sleek. I love it. This one actually opens up flat, whereas the Blue Blood does not. So this one is a little bit better in that regard. I'm just pinching my fingers everywhere to guy. So this is a bit of a sneak peek because um, I don't think... This is going to go up before my next uh, update for this pan that palette so i do have a serious dip in the matte white shade and i mentioned before that i like a i like it better when it's a shimmer white shade in a palette because i can use that to highlight a bit more but i have been using that matte white shade to just set my eyeshadow primer it's kind of a, a give me shade so it's a bit easier to work through and this is definitely something i could reach for more on a day-to-day -day basis specifically because there's this huge row of neutrals right here which make it easy to throw something together fairly quickly for work this next shade is where i'm going to struggle the most just just because it has a hot pink and the purple and this shade seems a bit out of place for me i don't know why that random kind of cool tone shade is there and then this bottom row i've actually been using fairly often it's a really nice way to deepen up the outer corner so like today i used the shade in my transition and then i used this to deepen up the outer v and then i used a um is it maybelline or is a cover girl i used a i think it was a cover girl liquid shadow all over the lid so fairly simple look i'm working from home today so i don't feel as bad about wearing like such a bright kind of red look but i have gotten some really nice subtle neutral looks out of this palette on a day-to-day -day basis Again, I am panning this, so I do have a goal to hit pan in every one of these shades by the end of 2020, so if you missed my intro, I'll throw that up in the cards. So there we have it. Those are all of my Jeffree Star and Kylie Cosmetics palettes ranked least favorite to favorite, favorite to least favorite. Let me know down below if you own any Jeffree Star or Kylie, what your favorite palettes are, and just like your thoughts on them as people. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Ah, uh, my thumb hurts. Ouch. I got like this really bad paper cut kind of thing right here and it's just like, uh.